Okay, so we're at, at that time of the year where um, we're in the middle of preseason. Uh, there's actually a time of recording this. Uh, it's Friday, so there's games tonight. And we, we obviously still have a whole other week. I'm going to put this up uh, either Saturday or Sunday this weekend. And obviously we still have uh, week three. Um, but I want to do my 32-team uh, uh, rankings for the preseason, which I've done for about two years now. Uh, obviously, if you're not familiar with this, I do one in the preseason one in uh, about the middle of the season, which uh, it'll be like week eight, week nine. So we, uh, <laughs> pro- we'll probably think it's about week nine because this is what eighteen weeks. So uh, week nine, I'll put it up somewhere around there, um, and then I will do a playoff ranking one for uh, literally like the day or two after uh, week eighteen wraps up. I'll, I'll put a playoff ranking up too. So I'll do, I do three of these during the season, obviously. Um, I might, and I haven't every year, but sometimes I'll go back and, uh, you know, I'll make a video on what my preseason, uh, you know, ranking looked like compared to what I have for, uh, you know, heading into the, uh, postseason. So, um, to start out here, I, I could have done a couple options here. Um, I just decided I'm going to leave the Texans here because I don't think they have a lot to lose. And the expectation is so low, which I, they could end up here. Um, I like Davis Mills. I think Davis Mills could do really well. Um, so they could be bumped up to, you know, 28 or something by, you know, midseason or something like that if they have, like, a decent season. Uh, they're not going to be playoff contenders. I know that for sure. Um, but, you know, I think they could get a couple wins here and uh, move up again to, like, 28 or something. Uh, then we have the Jags. Uh, <coughs> again, another one of those teams where it's like you don't have a lot to lose, and you're coming off a of back-to-back one uh, number one draft pick. So, uh, you know, you got Doug Peterson as your new head coach, uh, who which I think should finally be a stable head coach for the Jags. Um, so, you know, I have again, you could kind of tie them at 32 with the Texans. Uh, it's just you know these teams have nothing to lose. And everything to gain. So if they, you know, win four games, five games, I might bump them up to like around thirty to, you know, twenty eight. Um, again, I don't see the Jags making the playoffs this year. Maybe, maybe four years down the road, yeah. But right now, I don't see them making the playoffs this year. So, uh, yeah, that's them. And then we move up to thirty. Um, see, I, I haven't seen a lot of Giants talk, but I, I just I don't think they're gonna be really good I, I i just i don't think they will i think they'll somehow stumble their way um to like five wins or something they'll somehow get a couple wins and it'll be like oh my god like the giants you know they got one win against a good team it's like oh my god like whoa whoa, whoa. and then they're gonna fall back into irrelevancy again so you know you know i i not a lot of hype for them um i have seen some people say you know they think saquon will take a step uh, forward again, and you know, if he stays healthy, uh, again, be a top 10 running back and whatnot. We'll see. Um, I, I'm not gonna put any expectation on Saquon or you know, that <laughs> or the team as a whole because they're just <coughs> they're they're okay, they're, they're just they're okay. Um, Falcons are next. I, I could have put them at 32. I, I they're gonna be a top five draft pick. Uh, this season, um, it just feels like that, just the way that their team is right now, and it just, I don't know, I, I think they could maybe do okay, um, but then I, I think they also could just do really bad and get it, like, the top two traffic, so I, I just, I have them up here just because, you know, I, I like, um, oh, what's, what's the tight, I, I already forgot the tight end's name, <laughs> this is not, it's not going well. Uh, whatever, Kyle, uh, Kyle, whatever, I can't remember his last name, uh, whatever, they, they just got him, was it last year, the year before, uh, so, you know, young, uh, tight end, um, I don't really hear, like, anything about their defense, so, it, like, I don't even hear negative stuff about their defense, but it's just, they're just such an irrelevant team, where it's like, I just, I don't know how they're gonna do, and I just don't think they're gonna do that well, but I think they'll do better than the Texans, than possibly the Jags, and possibly the Giants, but again, they'll still be like around a top five draft pick. So, uh, then we have the Jets. Um, now you could you can move them down lower too. Honestly, there's a, just a bunch of these like lower tier teams that are just all clumped together. 
Like, you could just, like, have one here, one there, and kind of switch them around. So, you know, I get it. Some people are like, oh, Jets are 32 or whatever. Like, I get it. You, you can make your own list. This is my list. Um, but I, I just feel like the Jets had an underrated offseason, both with a draft and with, like, free agent pickups and whatnot. I, I just feel like they've gotten better. But, again, Zach Wilson's only in his second year. You know, you have, uh, I think, another new head coach. Um, just, you know, a bunch of new pieces coming in, so they're not going to the system at all. So, you know, I think they had, like, again, an underrated offseason. I think if Zach Wilson improves a lot over the next two to three years, uh, they can keep this core together. Sauce gets a lot better. Um, you know, obviously, he's only a rookie, so, you know, he can only go up from here, uh, potentially. So, I, I think the Jets could have a bright future if they play their cards right. And that's, you know, that's, that's not the Jet way. But if they do, I, I think they could have a bright future. And I, I guess that that's kind of why I have them up here. But I just think with all the offseason signings, I think that they, you know, could win maybe four games, five games potentially this year. Boss. We'll see. You're not going to win against the Bills unless they have their backups and you play them like week 18 or whatever. I don't know their schedule. Um, Patriots, I don't think you're going to win. Um, Dolphins, I don't know. Maybe you split with them, so maybe you get, like, one win in your division. <coughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see with them. Uh, then we have the Seahawks. Again, Seahawks. You can clump them down with the rest of them here. It's, it's just, it, it's a lot of unknown, a lot of who knows what's going to happen. Uh, again, at the time recording this, they, they played last night, um, and, you know, like their backups and whatnot only were able to put up 11 points. So I don't, I mean, again, DK played, I think it was three plays. I believe he played, um, you know, so the offense, the starting offense didn't play a lot, but I just, I don't know. I don't think they're going to do well at all. I, I don't, I, I think maybe they could, I don't even know if they can get a win in their division. Never mind. I was thinking, I'm like, Okay, San Francisco, uh, well, you don't have Russell Wilson, so you can't just say, like, oh, maybe you can split with them. I don't I don't know if Drew Locke will be good enough to split with them. Uh, Cardinals, I don't know. <laughs> and then Rams, I don't think so. So maybe you don't even get a win. So maybe I could have put them lower than the Jets. I, I Just, again, you can clump them down at the bottom there. Uh, then we have the Bears. Uh, I mean... Bears are in rebuild mode. They have a bunch of cap space in the, for next offseason, so they might be higher next offseason depending on how their offseason goes. But they're, they're going to be a top five draft pick, I, I believe, um, this year. They're probably going to tank um, and see if the, how high they can get and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, it's just <laughs> they're just, you know, they have a bunch of young players, but they just don't have anything good this year. So uh, then Washington at 25. I feel like, you know, you have some pieces on your team, and I think you could, you know, possibly split with the Giants. Maybe you beat them twice. <coughs> um, it's just, I don't, you're not going to be competing. Well, I, I, I guess I shouldn't say anything because it's the NFC least, and anything is possible. Uh, I mean, again, what was it, two years ago is they, when they won the division? Has it been two years already? Uh, which is crazy. Um, just, I guess you never know with the NFC least. So I don't know, but I, I think they'll be okay. You know, obviously there is a little bit of hype around Carson Wentz, but I, I, I think he's kind of past his, you know, MVP phase where he looked good, uh, that one year. And then, you know, he hasn't looked good since and he's bounced around. So I don't think he will be that good, um, uh, really, uh, in Washington. I, I think the system it might be okay for him, but it's just, you know, you don't really have that good of an offensive line. Uh, you know, your defense isn't spectacular, so we'll see. Uh, next is the Steelers. Again, they, they kind of took a step back after, you know, Ben Roethlisberger retired. Um, you know, now Juju's gone and whatnot. So, uh, I, I believe they had, I forget, I think there was defensive players that are gone too. Uh, point is, I, I don't know how well the Steelers would do. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe because, you know, the, uh, AFC North is always competitive, no matter if all four teams are good or if some are good and some are bad, 
the AFC North hates each other so much where they, they could get like two or three wins um, from their division. <coughs> <coughs> and right there, that's, you know, three wins and then whatever the rest of your schedule is. Uh, you know, I think you could get, you know, maybe six or seven wins, maybe. Uh, Mike Tomlin has never had a losing record, so you could see him going, oh, well, you can't go 8-8 eight eight anymore. So uh, maybe, well, you can go 8-8-1. Eight, eight, <laughs> Maybe that happens, or 9-8, and eight, something like that. So we'll see what happens with them. Uh, next, the Panthers. Um, I'm higher on Baker Mayfield than probably 75% of America is. And, you know, I, I think he'll do well. I think he'll do okay. Uh, Panthers have an, you know, an okay defense. If CMC stays healthy, he's got a running back, just like he did in Cleveland. Um, you know, they have weapons on uh, the offense. Again, it's, it's not quite... I think I would say the Browns, well, obviously right now, but when Baker was there last year, I would say it probably was a little bit better than it than his wide receiver core this year in uh, Carolina. Um, so they, they could be okay. They could maybe get, you know, seven, eight wins around around there maybe. Um, I, I, I believe, again, in Baker Mayfield a lot more than most people do. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, then we have the Browns here. I have them down here um, just because we know now Watson is getting an 11-game suspension. Uh, so it's all up to J Jacoby Percet. Um, but you know, they, they have good wide receivers, obviously Myrie Cooper and whatnot is there now. Um, you have still a very good running game with two good running backs. I think their O line is pretty good. You have a, you know, decent defense, but it's all, it's all on the shoulders of Jacoby Percet now. Um, so I think if he does well, maybe they sneak in the wild card. If he doesn't do well, then you know, the Browns uh, are looking at a top, t well, well, maybe top 15 pick. I, I don't know if I would say top 10 just because there's so many bad teams, which, again, we've just gone off through. So we'll see. I, I think their ceiling, again, is like the wild card uh, round, making the playoffs, and that's it. I, I just, I don't think Watson, you know, he can, I think he can be in the building. I think it's like week seven or week eight. But there's weird rules with suspensions. Um, but, you know, again, you're not playing till week 11. Uh, so I just, I don't know how that's, I don't know how, he didn't look good in his preseason debut either. So, uh, but again, I didn't expect him to. So we'll see what happens with the Browns. Uh, Lions here. Uh, what is this? Uh, I'm going to just pick it. Yeah. Okay. This is at 21. That's right. <coughs> oh my God. Now I'm choking on air. Um, Lions underrated off season, underrated draft. I, I think Dan Campbell is good. A, a good head coach for this uh lions team i think their ceiling is the wild card round just like the browns i think they can make the wild card i think they can uh, i think you know <coughs> <coughs> oh my god um you know bears are probably gonna finish in fourth so you know you're in third place um the nfc is not that you know bottom heavy like there, there's the top four teams and then there's you know no one else you have the rams the packers the bucks um, and then whoever comes out of the NFC least, and then that's, you know, that's basically it for, you know, these top tier teams, and then the rest of them, you know, you're gonna have five through eight, so I think they can make a seventh seed, eighth seed, <coughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm, wait, no, it's five through seven, no, my, my, bad. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today, it's five through seven, sorry, I don't know, Oh my God! Um, where was it? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that their their ceiling is the wild card. I think they can potentially make it that far. Um, so that's what about like nine wins somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, I, I again, you probably can get, go two wins against the Bears. Um, I think you can maybe split with the Vikings. Maybe you split with the Packers again. I mean, usually Packers by the time they play the Lions at the end of the year. Um, you know, they put the backups in. So, you know, you, you usually you can get a free win uh, in there at the end. I don't know what week we play the Lions this, this year. Um, but you never you never know. You, you could go 1-1 one and one against the two teams that are better than you in the division, and uh, you could go 2-0 and oh against the uh, fourth, fourth uh, spot in the division. So that's a couple wins there. And then, again, you don't have the hardest schedule in the world. So, you know, you never know. Uh, then the uh, Vikings, sorry, then the, the Dolphins here at 20. Um, I think 
Tyreek Hill is overhyping Tua, but you just never know what's going to happen. I, I think the Dolphins are a decent team. I think they have weapons. I think their defense isn't terrible. Uh, it's just, I, you know, you never know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't have a lot to say about them. It's just we're going to see it, what happens. That's, that's all I can basically say. <coughs> <coughs> then we have insider top 20. The Colts here starting at, 20, at 19. Oh, my God. I think Matt Ryan, good offseason pickup for QB after uh, Wentz is gone. Um, I think, you know, you have an okay wide receiver core. Uh, defense, I like their defense. I think their defense should be top 10 this year. Um, I, I think you could make a run at the playoffs again. I, I do. Just like with Phillip Rivers two years ago, I think you could make the uh, wild card round. Uh, maybe make divisional. But I, I think that the AFC has so many top tier teams that – you need Matt Ryan to be in MVP form. You need that defense to be in, uh, you know, MVP form, basically. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. It'll be interesting. Uh, Broncos here at 18. Uh, I think, you know, they have a lot of potential. And I think you're in the hardest division in uh, in the AFC. Well, in the NFL, really. Uh, um, you could go, like, uh, what? You go, like. Two and four, you could go one and five, um, you could go six and zero. Oh. Like it's just who knows what's gonna happen with the AFC West. Uh, again, it's gonna be a bloodbath, and the rest of the AFC is just gonna look at it and go, "Yes, kill each other." Well, we finish up our uh, divisions, and uh, we'll we'll meet you in the playoffs, and then beat up the whatever bloody corpse is left of you guys. <laughs> That's how the AFC is looking. It's just, you know, let them take care of themselves. We'll take care of us until we need to take care of them. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how they, again, they could be interesting. Um, I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Then I have the Raiders here right next to them. Uh, I do think there might be three teams. I, I probably got to make a new uh, AFC playoff picture. Um, cause I think there could be three AFC teams, uh, here, uh, in the, in the playoffs, I mean, um, AFC West. So I, I don't know. I, I think that, you know, the Broncos and, uh, Raiders are kind of right there together. Um, so if you want to go like one A, one B for, uh, was it 17? Um, <coughs> you could, <coughs> oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> So I, I I don't know. We could see how they how well they go. I think Ra Raiders could be an interesting team uh, to watch. And again, you could go two and four, or you could go six and zero, oh, or you know five and one, whatever. Who knows what's gonna happen in the AFC West? Uh, then the Patriots here. Um, I mean they could make the playoffs again. I think that the the dynasty is kind of done for now. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, and so, who knows what's going to happen in the future? I, we don't know. Um, obviously, I think Mac Jones is an okay QB, uh, and you really only have to compete with the Bills. So, I don't know. I don't know. It, it'll be interesting. It, it, it'll be interesting to see how they do in their division with the, you know, the Jets upcoming, with the Dolphins upcoming, and again, you have the Bills. So, I, I don't know. I think they could reach the wild card. I think that could be their ceiling again this year too. So. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, 15 here, Ravens. Uh, now, some people are going <laughs> to be mad because I don't have them in my top 10. The reason I don't is because they were so injured last year. If they were healthy, Ravens probably make the AFC Championship game minimum, I, I think. I think, you know, healthy Lamar, healthy defense, healthy offense and whatnot. Uh, I think that they could have made, you know, like AFC Championship game, maybe even Super Bowl. Uh, so, this is just... I have them at 15 because they could make the run, but we can't see the future. We don't know what's going to happen in September, in January, and whatever. We don't know where everyone's going to be, who's going to be injured and whatnot. So uh, this is more of a cautionary thing preseason-wise um, than it is like, hey, like I think what they can do. Um, so I, I just don't, I don't want to have them super high and then they just you know fall apart. And, uh, you know, don't do well this year. Because that would suck. <laughs> uh, 14 Vikings. I think they can make the playoffs. Um, I think they had, a, you know, a decent offseason. Uh, you know, good pickups in the draft. Um, 
you know, you, you got Zedarius Smith on your team now too from the Packers. So I, I don't know. I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with them. Uh, obviously, they're going to be fighting for the uh, NFC North title with the Packers. Uh, and I'm just I'm interested to see what this team looks like mid season. Uh, so then, you know, I'll have a better perspective of are they good? Are they bad? Because right now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about them, but I think that they can make the playoffs, which is why I have them here. Um, and yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Uh, Saints, Saints are underrated. Um, no one really talks about them. I went to the uh, first day of practice um, against the Saints and Packers. Uh, so I have a video up if you want to see that. I talk about them. The defense is really good. The run game, uh, or the defensive uh, run uh, defense is very good. I think that they will have one of the better ones in the uh, NFL. Um, no Jameis that I saw in practice, but he'll, he'll be out there probably, you know, for the season, as long as he stays healthy. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think they'll be good. I, th I think, again, they'll be underrated, a, a team that's not really talked about. And I think they're going to shock a lot of people. I think they will make the playoffs this year, uh, even with no Sean Payton anymore. Then the Cowboys, um, they are not the highest rated or highest uh, NFC least team in here. We'll get to why in a little bit. But Cowboys are going to contend for the playoffs um, and just because it's their, you know, division. That sucks. So that's it. <laughs> Cardinals, um, we'll see. I think, you know, they had a little bit of drama with Kyler Murray that's kind of all brushed past now. Um, I think they can get back to focusing on football, and I think they will do good. It's just... They might make the wild card uh, as long as they don't fall apart <laughs> like they did last year. Uh, number 10 here, Titans. Um, I have them this low because you just, well, you could say this low slash this high because I, I don't know what they're going to turn into. Um, uh, Derrick Henry is still on the team, still, you know, probably the best rusher in the NFL right now. Uh you know, the offense is taking a hit. The defense is taking a hit. But they were the one seed last year because the AFC was so crazy. So they could sneak in and get, you know, a top three seed if they really wanted to. Uh, and, you know, just try to avoid the big hitters in the regular season. And then, you know, you have home field advantage, which we saw how that went because that didn't, you know, affect the Bengals last year. <laughs> um, but you just, you know, you know who knows what's going to happen uh, with them. So I just, I don't know, but you have Derrick Henry. So that, that's all I do know. Uh, Eagles here, again, highest rated NFC least team. Uh, I think the Eagles are underrated. I think they will have a very good year. And I'm excited for Jalen Hurts, uh, A.J. Brown, and whatnot. Um, I think they will do a lot better than what people think they will. Kansas City up next. Kind of, I've dropped them uh, compared to last year because, you know, you lose Tyree Kill, and I, I don't think the replacements like uh, uh, MVS really... They're not, it's not as big impact as Tyreek Hill was. So, uh, we'll see. Defense is okay. I've still lost Tyron Matthew and whatnot, too. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how they're going to do, but, you know, they have Patrick Mahomes. They have Travis Kelsey. So, you can still contend for the uh, West. Uh, San Francisco next. Uh, I could have honestly dropped them a lot lower just because they're going with uh, Trey Lance, but... I mean, Trey Lance didn't look bad. I've only seen one preseason game so far, but he didn't look bad. <coughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, again, still good defense. Trey Lance still has weapons on offense. Still has, you know, there's a running game there. He can run too. So I think they could make the playoffs. I think they could be uh, interesting this year. Uh, Bengals, AFC champions. Um, they are not the highest rated AFC team in here. I'll get to why. Um, for you, yeah, obviously, if you've seen my, I, I've done videos already, but there's, there's a reason why, <laughs> um, but Bengals very good. They're going to make the playoffs again. That, in my opinion, I think they will. Um, maybe they make another AFC championship game. I just don't know if they make the Super Bowl because they're, again, there's better AFC teams out there in my opinion. Uh, number five out of the Packers. I just think that the defense alone makes them a top 10 team. I think, you know, if, if the wider series work out, I think they can be a top five team. Uh, in the league, you still have Aaron Rodgers, still have a run game. I, it's just, I think this team can be good. It's just how well will the wide receivers look this year? It's a big question. Tampa at number four, still got Tom Brady. You have a bunch of your pieces from the past couple of years coming back. Uh, no Gronk, but you know, uh, tight ends you do have aren't bad at all. So 
I think they'll make the playoffs. I think they'll do really well again. Uh, Chargers at number three. This is the second best team in the AFC. Um, they're stacked. They're loaded. They're they're gunning for a Super Bowl win. That's that's it. That's all I gotta say. Cause they're very good. Uh, but Bills are best team in the AFC. Um, I what can I say? I mean, this this, this has been a lot. This already been said about the Bills. Uh, I believe they're actually Super Bowl favorites this year. So, uh, they're just very good. Bills are very good. Offense, defense, special teams, all around. Very good. They got a running game now. So, I'm excited for this team. And then number one, obviously the Rams. Super Bowl champions, defending Super Bowl champions. You got a lot of your pieces back. So, I'm, I'm excited to see how the Rams uh, do this year. Uh, still love Stafford. And, uh, yeah. So, that's my list. Um, let me know who, who would you switch and whatnot. Like the video. Share the video around. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm out of here. Peace.